My name is Douglas Kahn, and I'm from Sydney, Australia. I live uh, in the mountains about an hour and a half outside of, outside of Sydney in a very beautiful part of the country. Uh, is it your first time here on the Sonic X Festival? And... No, no, I was here for the cinematic experience uh, uh, a number of years ago, and I was in Amsterdam um, uh, more recently to talk at the Stedelijk uh, Museum. And then I know the Sonic X people because then they invited me to the Krems Contrasta in, uh, in Austria. So, and I've written for, um, I wrote for one of the, their books when I couldn't make it to the festival. So, and I've written just now for the, the book uh, uh, with the geological image. What do you think about the audience here? Uh, is it different from? Uh, does it different from a different uh, for, from the previous Sonic X festival? Or well, what? it's you know it's still early. I, I don't uh, the uh, the conversation that happened was uh, it seems to me where that person was shouting from the audience. It seems to me to be atypical of what I've seen before. Um, the con uh, it's, it's a much larger audience than in former Sonic. Uh, acts festivals, as far as I can tell, and, uh, but, um, uh, but, and so I haven't had the, it wasn't really a good opportunity for much interaction um, uh, as yet, but we'll see. Usually it's a, it's, it's a really an interesting mix of, of uh, artists and, and intellectuals of different types and some of the best conversations that I've had in conferences have been um, at, at, at the um, what is the geologic imagination for you? How do you feel it? How do you understand it? What is for you personally? Uh, well, the, as I said in my talk, I'm, um, I think we have to be careful not to let the geological, the geology part of it and the deep time distract us from the fact that the environmental crisis is first and foremost an energetic one. So the, the, there's a pun that operates within the, the, the word geologic, you know, so the, the logic of uh, various logics of the globe. So I would, I would like the, uh, the Anthropocene notion, because there's almost a default uh, idea of geology associated with it, and I would like to see that challenged. Uh, so the geological imagination has to do with the uh, for me uh, and my, oh, um, I get to advertise <laughs> for my, me and my book, <laughs> for Sound or Signal, uh, uh, Energies and Earth Magnitude in the Arts. Um, uh, for, <clears throat> for me, the whole Earth needs to be seen more as, uh, uh, as an, uh, a multitude of complexly interacting energetic uh, phenomena, um, and I think the world, once it's looked in that way, and most and musicians will tell you that's how they understand a lot of the world is through sort of vibration and the energy in the room and, and things like that. That <clears throat> that once you start understanding the energetic complexity of, of the world, it not only helps in the in terms of politics, like fossil fuel politics, but also sort of date the uh, daily life becomes much more uh, interesting. Um, when you realize that the light and sound and, and so many other things are uh, in their essence, um, uh, ener ener they are energies. Uh, whereas uh, my, one problem that I have with object-oriented ontology is that there's a plenitude you know, like a, a plenitude of objects, but no, no plenitude of energies. I would like to see the, the, the world constituted, people's perception being within the world constituted more by the, uh, these uh, energetic notions. And the final question, uh, what are the main, uh, the first associations came to your mind when, when you hear uh, the energy, the word energy? Well, it, there's too many. <laughs> it, the, the, the thing that I think about mostly is the pervasive 
of uh, how pervasive they are, where they are all over the place, and, but we don't know how to talk about it. So that's me being a talker. I'm, I'm trying to bring words into, you know, a, 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 an understanding, a historical and, and theoretical understanding of these things that are all around us.